five, four, three, two, one. Good morning. This is Wayne Simbla from the Stearns County Soil Water Conservation District with your conservation report. To make it as easy as we can for you to get your private well tested for nitrates again this year, the Stearns County Soil Water Conservation District is partnering again with the Minnesota Well Owners Organization, the Minnesota Groundwater Association, and trout companies to provide a free nitrate and chloride screening event. The event will take place on Thursday, August 31st from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the Main Prairie Township Hall, which is located at 7551 Delwood Road in Kimball. This is just north of Lake Carnelian along the east side of State Highway 15. This event will be similar to past events we had had like the one at St. Joseph Township and Greenwald Pub in Greenwald. Make sure to bring about a quart of water because there will be an opportunity to submit your water for an arsenic test at a free or a significantly reduced price of $21 instead of the typical $45 it usually costs. So bring cash or check to take advantage of this opportunity. The application window is open for the Minnesota Department of Ag Livestock Investment Grants. Livestock farmers and ranchers are encouraged to apply by October 12th. The Minnesota Department of Agriculture is now accepting applications for the Agricultural Growth Research and Innovation, which is the AGRI, Livestock Investment Grant. This annual grant opportunity is open to Minnesota livestock farmers and ranchers looking to improve their operations, supporting the long-term development in Minnesota's $8 billion, li billion dollar livestock industry. The Department of Agriculture anticipates awarding approximately $1.5 million in 2024 for livestock investment grants using a competitive review process. Grant funds are available for equipment purchases and physical improvements used to help start, improve, or expand livestock operations in Minnesota. Reimbursable investments include but are not limited to buildings or facilities for producing livestock, watering systems, fencing, feed equipment, and waste management equipment used for raising livestock. All principal operators of livestock farms in Minnesota are invited to apply, including those who have received grants in the past. Only one application will be accepted per farm. Preference will be given to the applicants or farms that have not previously been awarded a grant. Applications may apply for up to 10% of their project's total cost with a minimum expenses of $4,000 and a maximum expense of $250,000. Grant awards can range in size from $400 to $25,000. Only expenses incurred after the grant contract that had the contract's been signed by all parties are then eligible for reimbursement. The MDA expects to have contracts to the grantees by early 2024. Applications for the grant will be accepted until 4 p.m. on Thursday, October 12th. Applicants must use the Department of Ag's online application portal to apply. And finally, there's another application for Soil Health Financial Assistance Program, which is open until September 15th of 2023. Awards will be announced by January 1 of 2024. The Soil Health Financial Assistance Grant provides cost share for the purchase and retrofit of soil health equipment. Adopting soil health practices often requires expensive and specific pieces of equipment, creating a need for a cost share opportunity to offset those costs. Some quick facts about this program. It's one of the first and only programs to reimburse for equipment. It covers the purchase of new equipment, used equipment, or parts to retrofit existing equipment. Awards range from $500 to $50,000. Um, individual producers, producer groups, and local governmental units can apply. Eligible equipment purchases must advance soil health in Minnesota. These grants are competitive. Awarded contracts will, be, will last for 12 months. The applications will require the cost of the equipment, an explanation of how the equipment will be used to advance soil health on your farm, and the number of acres the equipment will be used on, and other information. Um, those that are eligible are individual producers, producer groups, or local governmental units. If it's a local government, then the unit has to be available to the public. Um, prioritization will be awarded for applicants who belong to historically underserved communities. Also, points will be available or awarded if the operation is, act is actively certified or assessed and working towards certification in the Minnesota Ag Water Quality Certification Program. To apply, um, applications must be submitted through the MDA online application system by 4 p.m. on September 15th. $2.375 million are allocated for distribution through this program in fiscal year 2023. Grant awards will provide up to 50% cost share with a minimum award of 500 and a maximum award of 50,000. 
eligible expenses. Um, they are the grant applications must be for the purchase of equipment that will be used to establish, improve, or accelerate soil health. The equipment can be new or used. Parts and materials used to retrofit existing equipment may also be eligible. To receive funding, successful applicants must submit proof of payment for their equipment. Examples of eligible equipment include, but are not limited to, no-till drills, air seeders, high boys, variable rate equipment, retrofit projects to convert corn detasselers to high boys, and more. Note that the equipment purchases must not be made until after the start date of the grant contract. For more information on any of today's or other topics, please check out our website at www.stearnscountyswcd.net or call us at 320-251-7800, extension 3. Also, please like us on Facebook. This has been Wayne Simbluck with your Conservation Report.